On this episode of Living the Dream, Jimmy and Louisa head offshore out of the plantation on Crystal River in search of grouper and amber jack. And all day long, the action is packed. Got him. Woo. Look at this. Ah, nice size fish. Oh. There you go. Well done. Fish on. Woo. That's the right one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at that monster. Another big one. Back to back. Oh my mm, that's bigger than the last one. Get up here. This is Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson. Another big one. Presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Doesn't get any better than Baja. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, boy! That's a kingfish right there! Woo! Louisa and I were wanting to catch some AJs out of the plantation again for quite some time, so this was the perfect opportunity to do it because we had some pretty good weather and we were going to be shooting a show anyways, so we decided to go ahead and make that long run out there to get the AJs. You don't have to run very far to get the grouper this time of year. You can get them in real shallow, but for the amberjack, you do have to still run out far because they're in deeper water. Okay, so today we're out of the plantation on Crystal River. We're actually out 90 feet of water, and uh, we're gonna be doing a little chicken for AJ's. And there we go, got one on the first drop. <laughs> it feels like nice. a pretty good one. Oh, I see if I can get yeah. one too. It's a good one. <laughs> So today, guys, we're nice, doing this Jimmy. just for the fun because it's going to be all catch and release because AJs are out of season. And they are actually one of my favorite things to catch on a jig because they're always so willing to play. Look at that. Gosh, that's a good one. It's a big one. Woo! Woo! There he is. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> nice fish. All right. There are some 60 pounders down there. He's nowhere near that, but there are some monsters there. That's a Palomar flat side jig, a three and a half ounce Palomar flat side jig in the blue mackerel color. Awesome, awesome lure. Check this out. The AJ thought so too. He got all over it. And these fish here are nothing but muscle. It's a strong, strong fish. There it is. Beautiful. Nice fish. Get back and send your daddy over here. Goodbye. Look at that. We were hooking the AJs as fast as we could drop our lines in the water. Love jigging for these things. Woo! Fish on! Woohoo! Nice. All right. And of course, they're very, very strong fish, so you're not going to want to sit there and do it all day. But we began to catch those fish one after another. There we go. You Double. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! It's OK, I'll get another one. Yes, friends. Look at that guy. That's what it's all about. <laughs> ah, literally one after another. Yeah. I see some color. Gosh, these fish are nothing but muscles. Wow. Ah! Those last few feet are tough, huh? These fish will fight all the way to the top. They do not give up. Look at that. Oh, Woo! that broke off right there. I had a monster on and he let it go. You can help me with mine. Okay. <laughs> the nice thing about the plantation on Crystal River is that you can catch amberjack year round. Certain times of year you don't have to run out so far, but you can catch them year round right here out of the plantation on Crystal River. Guys, check it out. Another one on a Palomar jig. This is a 2.6 ounce jig actually, a little bit smaller than the one Jimmy's jigging with, but they do not mind. Woo! Get that hook out. Mm, gosh, they're hitting it and missing it. Whoa! There he is. As you guys saw, mine broke off when Louisa got hers near the boat and uh, just hooked the second one up right away before she even has hers off. These fish are insane, man. They just, they fight all the way up. They don't quit. Right up until the minute you grab them, they're kicking. Woo! There he is, look at that. There's our double. Always a blast. <laughs> Always a blast to catch these out here with you. 
Wow, so much fun. If you don't target amberjack very often, you should give it a shot because these fish are just a blast. They love hitting jigs, so you can catch them on artificial, catch them on live bait. And they are good to eat when they're in season, but uh, they're out of season. So it's all about fun today. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life, Live Salty, Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler, Sea Deck, your boat deserves Sea Deck, ACR Electronics, the science of survival, and by American Fishing Wire. Jimmy and Louisa are fishing in their home waters out of the plantation on Crystal River. They rose early and made a long run to the Gulf for deeper water so they could target Amber Jack. As soon as we pulled up, we saw AJs all around the boat. I mean, they were just circling around it and swimming and pretty much just waiting for us to drop a jig in. And there we go, got one on the first drop. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Fish on! we go, double. Wow! Oh. There's our double. Always a blast. <laughs> Always a blast to catch these out here with you. Alrighty, one more look. And here he goes. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Louisa and I were hooking those AJs up just as fast as we could jig those lures. I mean, they were all schooled up below the boat and it wasn't taking any time at all for us to hook up. Mm. Woo. Oh, off already. On and off. Oh. There you go. They're about the same depth. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> there he is. Another right. big one. Amber Jack Candy. Wow. <laughs> These jigs. He's going to want to kick a little, huh? Many of them are there. Louisa, you keep getting the biggest fish. Yeah, the bigger than the one I just had. Man, <laughs> it you must like that color. You don't want that out of there. Gosh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> There's so much fun to catch, too. We get them out here anywhere from about 40 feet out up to about 200 or so. And uh, they put up a fight. That's what it's all about with these guys. Again, she already said the color, but that's the uh, cotton candy glow. That's one of the new colors from Palomar. We have a few new colors, and that's one of them. Really like that one. That's one of Louisa's favorites, actually. Yeah. Amberjack candy. I had my buddy John King with me. He was there helping cut up some bait and just helping around the boat and stuff. All right, so John's jigging on the other side of the boat. And what I'm using here is I'm going to use a No Alibi Alien jig. This is the Squid Head series, and that's in the glow color. And uh, those No Alibi jigs, look at this hook on here. You're going to go for big fish. You want a quality hook like that. Awesome looking bait. We're gonna see what the Amberjack think about it. It didn't take John any time at all and he was hooked up. And John's hooked up on the three and a half. After I finished tying on that jig, I tossed it in the water and I decided to try to double him up. Oh! Just missed him, there he is! Got him! Whoa! <laughs> Jigging up two Amberjack at the same time ended up getting us wrapped up. I feel your rubbing. I feel your rubbing. Yeah. You know, you're just real straight up. We'll ro reel together straight up if you're able to. Oh, yeah, your line cut my line. Dog on it. That was on the CNH squid jig that I just tied on. He cut me off on my braid. But that was that squid jig I just tied on. I only have one more. So I'm going to rig it up and try to do that again. This is my last one. This is the uh, no alibi squid jig. Golly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. John, you sound like you got a big one. This is stud. It better be you cut my jig off. Oh. <laughs> this ain't stud, bro. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Baby. yeah. We got the one, bro. Woo! That's a big one. That's a monster. I told John if he cut my CNH jig off, it better be a big one. And it's a big one. Look at this thing. Gosh. Man. The jig's in there. Golly. What a fish, John. What a monster. Come on in here with your fish. Don't be I'm shy. Tired. I'm tired. Don't be shy. What Hold his you, tail. What are you oh. trying to do to me? 
I'm an old man. And this is what it's all happening on, if I can get it out. Don't cover your face up, John. Hold him down a little, there you go. <laughs> uh, good job, good job. And then I got a much bigger hit. Oh, there he is, Deshaun. Got him. Wow. Woo, good job. Didn't right even make way. it all that far down. I got my last one cut off on John. Louise almost cut that one off on me. They do not, these Amberjack do not want to come up on one of these no alibi jigs. You guys see that? That's crazy. Woo, look at this. That's what I was after. Arr. Nice size fish. It's a no alibi squid jig. Works great for AJ's. Grouper and snapper will destroy it too if they had a chance to get to it. These AJ's just won't give him a chance to get to any other bait. I mean, he's still trying to fight me here in the boat. <laughs> cool jig. That's the pink color. And check out the hook on this thing. Look at this. This again was caught on 80 pound high seas quattro fluorocarbon leader with a uh, 80 pound high seas braid as well. And then the no alibi squid jig in the pink color. Cool jig. Check this thing out. Look at the design on the color, the size of that hook. Just a beautiful big hook there. And that's why those fish stay buttoned up so well with it. Well done. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by CNH Lures. Be a winner with CNH Lures. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. Cayman Islands Angling Club, come experience sport fishing in paradise. And by Salt Life, live salty. On Florida's nature coast, Jimmy and Louisa are offshore jigging over a school of AJs. And with the help of some Palomar jigs and CNH lures, monster after monster has been hauled in the boat. Mm. And Woo. there we go. Got one on the first drop. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. There he is. Well done. Woo. And John hooked up on the three and a half. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh we, got yeah. we got the one, bro. Woo. And it's a big one. Look at this thing. Got him. You guys see that? That's crazy. Woo! Look at this. Nice size fish. After Louisa and I caught several amberjack and had all the amberjack we needed for the day, we decided to go ahead and switch it up and try catching some stuff off the bottom. All right, guys. Well, we switched it up a little bit. Switched from vertical jigging to uh, just drop into the bottom to see what we can catch. And I got a red snapper. Oh, good one too. Look at this thing. It's trying to splash everywhere. <laughs> good fish, one of the tastiest fish out here. And lucky for him, he's also out of season, just like the Emberjack. So this one's gonna go back. <laughs> there it is. Pretty fish, real pretty fish. My favorite part about fall fishing is that you don't have to wait around for the grouper bite. Mm, got him that time. He didn't get me into the rocks that time. Ooh, Ooh, get him, get him. I sense a grouper dinner coming up. Whoa! Uh -huh. Come on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Woo <laughs> Woo I got one too. Oh nice. Oh We're using 80 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader because there's so many rocks here. And these fish are so strong. We just want to make sure they make it up. So the bigger the tackle, the better. And it's a big gag. It's a real nice gag. What did I get? You got a snapper, it looks like. Ooh. Wow, what a beautiful fish, Jenny. I would have loved oh, to see the one that got little... away. But look at that. Wow. Guys, that right there is a full grown Crystal River gag grouper. Look at that thing. Holy smokes. Got to be a good 30 inch gag right there. Man, maybe bigger, maybe 32 or so. Holy cow, beautiful fish, green eyed gag right there. Now that they've got the taste for grouper, Jimmy and Louisa decide to switch things up. 
they hoist anchor and move in closer to shore to go after grouper. And within minutes, Jimmy's hooked into another one. Right one. That's the right one. That's a big gag. Come here. Come up here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moved in a little shallow. We were out 90 feet earlier. Now we're in here in 30. We try to pull up a couple extra grouper. And here comes a good one. <laughs> Look at that monster. Look at this thing down here, guys. Holy cow. Jeez. Wow. First drop in 30 feet. I'd say there's some big ones around here. Got them perfect in the corner of the mouth. Try that again here. Good gag. Monster. Whew. Oh my gosh. It's crazy, man. This time of year is the time of year to get the big ones. Get them all year long, but it's a lot easier in the winter months, like this November, December time frame. Grouper fishing doesn't get much better than what we're experiencing in Crystal River right now. When you can drop down and catch 28 to 32 inch grouper on a regular basis, almost one after another with only a few smaller fish mixed in, I mean, that's just epic. And that's about every day this time of year. Late fall, early winter is the best time to come out here and catch big grouper in big numbers. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a good fish. It took me right under a rock. That's why I have that 80 pound quattro on. You gotta have strong line, strong leader. And that 80 pound makes a big difference. There he is right there. Look, another monster. Another monster, man. These huge fish are just hanging out in here. Gosh, look at this. This is just unbelievable, guys. As fast as these things are getting in the water in here. Got these huge fish just coming up. One after another after another on 30 inch gags. And even bigger, some of the ones we've already got in there. This is insane. Too easy out here out of the plantation on Crystal River. Man, love this time of year. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. So far, Jimmy and Louisa have caught plenty of action, fishing for AJs out of the plantation. But before the break, they decided to relocate to target grouper, and it's been one big fish after another. Ooh, right one. Yeah. That's the right one. <laughs> Look at that monster. Look at this thing down here, guys. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Look, another monster. Another monster, man. These huge fish are just hanging out in here. Look at this. This is just unbelievable, guys. Gosh. And then I caught another grouper. Wow. Woo! Another good one. Come on up here. Golly. This is why I love grouper fishing so much. It's not a long fight, but it's a sprint every time you hook one. Good job. All the way to the top. Wow. Look, Look at this at beast here. Look at him in the water. Gosh. Another good one. <laughs> All day, man. All day long. And then Louisa hooked into a good fish. Ah, don't get me under a rock! No! Woo! He's fighting good. Woo! Got the 80 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader right here, the quattro fluorocarbon, and a big grouper. Nice fish. Wow, good job, Louisa. <laughs> you don't know that's your bait. Oh, I still got my bait. Good fish. Good fish. <laughs> and I went ahead and threw that grouper in the ingle. And then after Louisa's fish, I hooked into another grouper. Big one. Go Seems like one. every fish down there is big, man. There's no little ones. It's crazy how many big ones are mixed in here. Oh, yeah. Look at this gag. That's a stud. Another stud. Wow. <laughs> stud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's the Crystal River special right there. <laughs> Gag grouper. The grouper bite was on fire. It was cold outside, but the grouper bite was hot, that's for sure. Oh, that's a big gag. Yeah, that's a big gag. That's a real big gag. Nice. Mm. Mm, come on. Come on, big daddy. I got one too. <laughs> nice. Double up. up. <laughs> uh, uh, and it's a grouper. Woo. It's a nice grouper. Woo. Oh, you got a better a fish than me. A grouper and a grunt. She was going for mangrove snapper, and you want to see something cool, guys. Look at this. 
it's got another hook in its mouth and its jaw right here. <laughs> Fish with two hooks, somebody else couldn't handle them. We got that one. We had the right tackle. We have a Max L11 and a uh, 80 pound high seas braid and 80 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader. And you've heard me say that a lot because it's very important to use big tackle when you want to land these big fish because there's rocks everywhere where they hang out. They cut you off these. You got to tighten that drag down and rip them up quick. And that's the final product right there. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Better than mine. Yeah, it'll eat that one. <laughs> Another big one, back to oh back. Oh my gosh. Mm, that's bigger than the last one. Non Get up stop. here. Get up here. Gosh, it's got that line right there. Oh no. Oh no. Get up oh, here. No. oh no. Don't go under a rock. It's too late. He found the rock. You gotta get him back this way. Come on, come on. Oh, he's on the edge of it. Gosh, that line's gonna be frayed up. Oh, and this is why you use good leader. Oh, it's gotta be frayed up after being under that rock. Ooh. At least you got him out. That's good. Ooh. Look at that fish. You oh got him. God. I'm not lifting with the line this time. Wow. Oh. Another big one. Gosh, oh it is God. literally every single drop, one after another. That was what, four in a row? Four yeah. fish? Insane. And these are all big grouper. Just monsters. Oh, get that hook out. Oh, man. I love it. Such a nice fish. For more fishing and diving action, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at Captain Jimmy Nelson. Living the dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson was brought to you by Salt Life. Live salty.